when someone, you maybe, has a facelift, um, there's the surgical side of it where everything's put into the right position, fat grafting's done and, and facial volume is corrected and the platysma muscle is corrected and, and everything's stitched up. There's elements of judgment from the surgical point of view about how much to take, how much, how tight to pull and these sorts of things. And really ex experience means that we know as surgeons what our limits are in that regard. But skin does soften a little bit. Sometimes incisions are imperfect. Quite often, if there's a lot of spare skin, we'll try and limit the incision lengths and particularly behind the ear, do a little skin gathering, which feels really lumpy to you and it doesn't feel great, but it, it generally speaking, a lot of this remodels itself over a few months. So areas that are initially lumpy um, then just soften and fade well and you end up with a, a shorter and better scar than otherwise we would have needed. Quite often in facelifting, there's you, if we look at it at six months down the track, there's areas of little imperfections, nothing big, but for example, a little bit of a crease behind the ear, for example, or a scar or an earlobe that might not be exactly how we want it. If that's the case, then um, a touch-up is needed. And these are not uncommon in facelifts. They're simple to do. You drive there, drive home. It's generally speaking an office procedure. Um, it involves me putting some local anaesthetic in and just adjusting the scar position or the scar is not perfect, trying to make it better. There's no cost attached to it. It's just part of care for a facelift. And I think all surgeons who have a facelift practice um, end up doing quite a lot of little office touch-up just to optimize the result. You should want us to do that. If we see a scar that's not perfect a few months after the surgery, we should be wanting to touch it up. That's our job. Um, and it's inevitable in a facelift practice to see these things quite frequently. Um, they should be uh, not a, a, a big, deal or issue to do, they should just be part of achieving a good result for the individual.